हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय टुडे टॉपिक इज ईआरडी एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप डायग्राम नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड कांस्टेंट इन डेटाबेस नाउ हाउ टू गो अबाउट डिजाइनिंग अ डेटाबेस इन डिजाइनिंग अ डेटाबेस व्हाट वी नीड इज सेट ऑफ टेबल्स सेट ऑफ कॉलम्स एसोसिएटेड विद दोस टेबल्स एंड व्हाट आर द constants the entity constant referential constant semantic constants now let's understand how do you arrive at them how do you understand that these are the tables that i want how do you know that these are the foreign keys how do you even document it so we are going to use a specific entity technique known called entity relationship diagram which is also abbreviated as ERD how do you represent the database design in the form of picture and visual icon i will quickly walk you through the terminology associated with ERD so first terminology is entity type so an entity relationship diagram or ERD can be thought of as a map of the database schema we can visualize the structure of the entire schema and answer the following questions what are the table that it contains what are the columns that each table contains what are the data types and constants for each column if any there what are the relationship between the various table so these are the basic descriptions of entity relationship diagram and these uh, these questions can be answered after this video so first terminology is entity type to begin with entity is nothing but a small piece of information that you want to track in that database in your database so in this particular example we can have entities which we want to track which might be products so there can be washing machine a specific product i want to track or a mobile phone i want to track so these washing machines mobiles all are refer to entities but then catching of entities all over my database i must say i will group those entities together in a single container and i will call them as a entity type it's a collection name given to a bunch of an entity but what is common in that entity what is holding those entities together then we will have set of attributes that can be associated with this entity type so if you have 100 entity in a given entity type so each of these entity in the given entity type will have these set of attributes those are associated with it example product is a entity type so if you take a specific entity called mobile we can say that then these are associated will be attributes uh, like product name product line product uh, vendor quantity in stock and by price and mrp in large so these are all are the attributes associated with the every entity belonging to that entity type so you can see in this picture this is a example of erd in which we have uh, represent, uh, represented eight entity types so these eight entity types constitute your database so listing out what are the entity type and attributes not good enough to completing the database design we have to able to say that what is the relationship between these entity type those relationship are represented by using the lines that you see in this particular picture so that these lines refer to as relationship type so relationship type can exist across multiple entity types so let's take few examples for notation and understand the meaning of these relationship type relationship type can be expressed using cardinality and co cardinality can be multiple types so so we can have one to one cardinality 1 to 0 cardinality 0 to 1 cardinality and many to many cardinality so 
वन ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड राइट हैंड साइड यू हैव कनेक्शन लाइक बिटवीन टू दीज आर नोटेशन एंड दीज आर नोटेशन दीज आर नोटेशन दीज आर नोटेशन दीज आर द नोटेशन दीज टेल्स द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू टेबल्स so let's walk through some example to understand how it is represented and what is the interpretation of that let's try to understand the relationship between products line and products as you can see is it is shown that in the form of single line it is first indication that there is some relationship between product lines and products so we will look at the notation mentioned there so there is one specific notation that is here that is that are multiple lines are on product line multiple lines on product line like if there is uh, there is a product mobile there are many product associated with it so that is the information i want to capture so this is a classic example of one to many so how do you interpret how do you understand one to many relationship diagram on the right hand side you see these abbreviation many lines like this so you can say two lines by these notation one that every product line which is on the left hand side is followed by multiple lines like this so you read like this every product line is associated with zero or more products zero with multiple lines and second line two line second one two lines here show that there there are every products line must associated with the product line every products line will associated with products why you see this one for minimum and one for maximum so minimum is one and maximum one as well so every product is associated with minimum one product line and every product is associated with maximum one product line so go to the other box product and order details here which uh, indicates a relationship between one one shows that at the product details so two sentence are there one every product is associated with zero or one here Zero or one order details, and then you go to the order details side. There are two line. You will be see every order detail is associated with the minimum one product or maximum to the one product. So we can read and we can understand that these eight tables have a different kind of relationship with each other, and this. ER diagram shows about the how in database different uh, tables are connected through. These constitute uh, the constituents of ERD are entity type. It is nothing but a table in the schema. For example, orders and payments are both entity type. Similarly, attribute it is a column in an entity type. For example, order number is an attribute in the entity type. and relationship types there are lines between the tables they define the relationship tables and it can be of various type as i already told you one to one one to many and many to one etc so notation shows you what kind of relationship between two tables are there so as you can see erd are extremely useful to get an overall idea of a database in very less time ER model is a visual representation of the table structure and the relationship between logically related tables in ER modeling the database structure is represented as a diagram known as ER diagram an ER diagram gives a better understanding of the overall database structure so you can understand what our database have how much tables have how they are related to each other from this schema you can easily understand so i hope you understood all the points of erd diagram and how the connections between two tables is there if you have any kind of doubt please let me know please message me there and if you like my video please subscribe my channel friends thank you thank you so much